Well, I was going to ask some questions, but I saw the look on his face, <laughs> and I said, let me step away and let him get his mind right. Five-minute quarters as we kick it away. Elliott under it. Makes a move at the 29-yard line, and that's where Bob will go to work. And right there, not much on the return. And what I like about the return team, they were able to get the ball secured and not give it up because you don't want any big uh, turnovers to open up this tournament right now and have the momentum swift away. Well, one of your old friends is going to be the quarterback for both of these teams, Donovan Nab. That's the cool thing about Ultimate Team salary cap. they got to get their guys under 850 as they build their teams with both of them going with the legend Donovan McNabb. I'll tell you what, what an honor for Donovan McNabb to know that three out of the four guys chose to use him as their starting quarterback and playing with him for five years, his strength, his smarts, his accuracy, his leadership. I understand why those guys chose Donovan. Well, they got a pretty good quarterback here in Houston. I, I, come on, I'm a Clemson guy, so I'm probably going <laughs> to say this 9,000 times during this broadcast, but... Old DW4 to Sean Watson. He reminds me a little bit of McNabb. Yeah, like a smaller McNabb. Not quite as thick, not right. quite as uh, strong, but for what he doesn't have in strength that McNabb had, he has an elusiveness. They both throw a pretty good deep ball. We're going to see that, that today between these two competitors. Bob's going to start with it first. CJ will be on defense. So Bob's in the white Ohio. while CJ Ohio. is in the blue. Up under center goes McNabb. <laughs> and he'll stretch it out to the outside. And take it down at the 37-yard line. That's Chris Thompson on the carry. I was surprised that Bob was able to pick up so many yards going to the outside because I see the 3-4 front, and there are some big gaps between the guard and the tackle, but he was able to pick up big yards on the outside. Shotgun, but it goes right back under center. I got a feeling we're going to see that a bit today. You got Tyree Kill, the speedster, off to the right, and the legend Randy Moss to the left. And he goes back to Chris Thompson once again, and that'll be a first down out to the 45. I'll tell you what, Scott, that was the play I, was, I expected to see when I saw that defensive front. Now, I understand with the 3-4, you see those big gaping holes, but those middle linebackers are fast enough to fill it, but you still have to make sure that you have somebody in each gap. Flex round! Flex round! A bunch it to the right here. Shotgun Ohio! formation, Ohio! parries off to McNabb's left. <laughs> McNabb. Able to pick up the blitz, has time. Throws it in the middle of the field. And it's going to be caught at the 38 and plus territory. What a catch. What a catch, but the best Ohio, thing about that play Ohio. was a running back picking up the blitz, giving McNabb more time. Shit, shit, shit. So first and 10 at the 38, opening drive for Bob. I'm here all day. Barking out the hot routes here with McNabb. Donovan rolling right. Playmakers up the field and just sort of threw that one away. He was looking for Dorsett down the field. Looking for Dorsett. He wasn't there, but did the smart thing. Instead of taking a sack or trying to pick it up with his legs, he just throws it up and he's ready to play another down. Sort of no man's land right here at the 38. Quick throw and it's picked up by CJ and that's Ed Reed. The legend from the Ravens and he breaks the tackle. Couldn't stay in bounds, but a huge turnover here on the opening drive. I'll tell you what, huge turnover, but credit the pressure. As soon as Donovan McNabb was letting that ball go, he did have a defender come up the A-gap and hit him in the chest. Boy, Peters trying to hold on for dear life there, able to somehow get Ed Reed out of bounds, or that might have gone back for six. He would still be running. Just a nice job making sure he pushes him. Only one foot stepped out of bounds, but that's all you need. So nice job by the offensive lineman for not allowing Ed Reed to take it to the house and have a pick six under his belt. You know, before the broadcast, we were talking about CJ's roster here, and that was one of the names that came out to us was, could Ed Reed make a difference for him? And he already does on the opening defensive stance. Now he's got the ball just shy of midfield on the 48. And I know a lot of folks in the community were really feeling strong about how Bob would do in this first round here in the semifinals of the Houston, Texas Club Series. Club championship, but not a bad. You get a turnover here, you get an opportunity to maybe strike first. Ohio! Ohio! And here's an early timeout by Bill O'Brien. You know what, Scott, when you talk about upsets, I know CJ doesn't think this would be an upset for him to win, Ohio, but you do have to have those Ohio. big interceptions, those big turnovers to pull it off. Ohio, Ohio. Leonard Fournette will join McNabb in the backfield. OBJ Moss. As they hand it to Fournette, he's got a lot of room on the outside. First down and more. Can Hill get the block? No. 
But a 21-yard gain to take it all the way down to the 31-yard line. Wants to go quickly here. Bunch to the right. McNabb hands it off to Fournette again. And you're a little bit slower that second time around after running for 21 yards. Yeah, that typically happens. Uh, if I walk for 21 yards, I'm slower <laughs> the next 20. So hey, you saw him slow down on that play. Odell Beckham Jr. off to the right. Two fifty to go here in the first. Up the middle, and this is still bouncing around. Lucky that it just fell harmlessly to the turf. Yeah, you know, that, like you said, that's a, you took the words right out of my mouth. That was lucky. That was an incompletion. When you have the ball bouncing like that, and great athletes on the field, typically somebody's going to come down with it. That looked like that was number fifty-six, Lawrence Taylor coming up the middle, and they get it to Franco Harris, and Harris to the eleven-yard line. He's in the red zone. Tell you what, Franco Harris showing some athleticism in the Let's open go. field, Let's making go. guys miss. 56. 56. People in Pennsylvania would love to see that little McNabb <laughs> giving it to Franco Harris. The Steelers and Eagles and Odo Beckham with a one-handed grab. Touchdown, CJ. How accurate is that? Odell Beckham with a one-handed catch to have the first touchdown of the game. An awesome throw, awesome catch by Odell. And a great offensive game plan. CJ, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, and he executed it to perfection. It called for the high pass there, and Odell, with a high spec catch rating, ends up pulling it in. And CJ has struck first. And that's going to put Bob on his heels a little bit, turned it over. His first possession, he's got some family in the building. You mentioned coming over from Laredo, Texas. Ohio. The only Texan Ohio. in our final four from Houston trying to hold it down for his home state as McNabb hands it off to Chris Thompson. Thompson, three carries for 21 yards. That's seven a seven apiece. That's what you want on the first down. Get four or five yards, and it makes the rest of the series a little more manageable for you. Ball at the 36, coming upon two minutes to go in the first. Sky Cole and Indy Kalu along Ohio. with you. McNabb looking and hauled in by Randy Moss. At the 40-yard line, nice play. I'll tell you what I like about that pass. Randy Moss never had to break stride. He threw the player open. He threw the receiver open. He threw it to a spot, and Randy Moss, one of the few guys who could get to that ball in that pass. 24-yard gain. Hands it off to Perry for two as he spells Chris Thompson. I'll tell you what, that was a great defensive play because the gap opened up, and I thought that was going to be a big rush up the middle, but a nice solid tackle by 45. A pair of not enough wheels to hit that hole and get going. Second and eight. Ball to 39. Remember, this is where he threw the interception last time. Down here in plus territory. And boy, was that red by C.J., as he comes flying through with Moore, you mentioned Moore making a hit just to play a go. Back-to-back -back big plays by Moore. Ohio! Ohio! Flex round! Flex round! Ohio! Ohio! So that's going to bring up a third and 12 Ohio, for Bob. Ohio. Can't afford to see this drive stall here early. McNabb throws another interception! It's a user lurk! by CJ and his second INT of the game. I'll tell you what, I'm always surprised when we watch these games and right now CJ with two Let's early go. interceptions, he's not just trying to stay in this game, he's trying to win it and he's trying Let's to go. dominate it early. Let's go. Let's go. Interception, baby. Let's go. McNabb out to Fournette and he'll pick up the first down. Boy, that's a great check down by McNabb. Yeah, I don't even know if that was a check down, Scott. I think that's exactly where he wanted to go, and he didn't even look at any other options on that play. Flex round! Flex round! 56, Mike, 56. First and 10 at the 47. McNabb with the pressure. Can't get into Moss. 
And I'm glad you brought up the pressure because Moss was open. I was looking at him. I thought it was going to be a completed pass, but because of the pressure, he was not able to go through with that final throw motion, and that's why it was short. 14 ticks left here in the first. McNabb gives it a four net, and he goes absolutely nowhere. I'll tell you what, I may be a little biased, but I love these big hits that we're already witnessing here. <laughs> I, you know, as a former defensive guy, and I feel the vibrations of the hits, this is, uh, this is exciting for me to watch and be a part of. I noticed you're watching the trenches. Yeah, I, I love the <laughs> trenches. I love to see what's going on with the big uglies, as they called us. Not me, of Ohio, course. <laughs> Third and 13 as we start Ohio, the Ohio. second quarter. Ohio. But throughout the games, we've been giving away some new Hopkins cards. Make sure you stick around for that as they look for Odell Beckham. Runs out of real estate. Yeah, it's just not enough room for Odell Beckham to stay inbounds and get the ball. The ball was thrown out of bounds, but pretty accurate for a guy throwing on the run. But I see what he did. He wanted to make sure that another interception wasn't thrown on that play. And some copies of Mad 19 to give away today. And I mentioned... 500 what? ultimate team codes for DeAndre Hopkins. I'm a little biased too, but he's my favorite receiver in the league. And Hill pulls it in at the 25-yard line. And just like that, CJ's down there again. I'll tell you what, that is huge on 4th and 13 to pick up the first Ohio. down Ohio. after the interception. That is a big, big pickup and Ohio. a big catch. Uh, short games, you won't see a lot of punting. I call it the unicorn of Madden. You just don't see it that often. But like a tiny wheel route there on the outside by Hill. Delayed just a little bit. And it's easy for me to say behind this mic, but it seems like that spin was a little too early. If he was able to spin right when he was about to get hit, we would be talking about six points on the board right now. Ohio! Ohio! Like it might have been a little bit of a Seattle play there where you take the guy on the slot and wheel him up a little bit, but it goes to Fournette. Here on first and ten from the eleven, and he carries a couple defenders for four yards. It's going to break up a second and six from the seven. Still a chance he had a first down. That's what makes Fournette so special. He gets hit after one yard, but then he ends up getting a four-yard gain because he's so strong in his leverage. Well, he's had uh, two big plays of the two guys from LSU, Fournette and Odell Beckham Jr. And Fournette is going to get in there. And pinning the extra point, he's going to be up 14. CJ has looked really strong through this first six minutes and ten seconds. But look, he's now relaxed. He's just going to, he has that mentality. It's a 0 0 game, and that's what the great ones do. They never get too excited, and they never get too down when things don't go their way. We'll see how Bob responds. Now, he's probably got something on the playlist there. Did you have any. Uh what did you listen to pregame? All Southern hip hop, Scarface, Street <laughs> Military, uh, UGK, A Ball, hey, I'm, AJG. Hey, I'm down with the Underground <laughs> Kings, man. All Southern hip hop. Speaking my language. Round, First and 10 round. from the 33. Cut. It's time to try to spin away. Bob struggling right now. That's going to be a loss of three. I'll tell you what, CJ's DBs and linebackers are making great plays against the run. Whether they're blitzing through the A-B gaps or blitzing off the corners, they're sure tacklers, and it's tough to run on this team right now. And I had a little uh, in the air tonight. That's one song yeah, that a little. always uh, Phil Collins always get me pumped up too. Ooh. So Ohio, Maybe the Ohio. best drum fill exactly. in the history of music. Ohio. Ohio. Second and 13. Thompson all alone. Try to make Ed Reed miss. It's going to make it third and short. Hurry up offense. Trips to the left. Had to see something he liked here to hurry up. Really needs to get something done here before the two-minute warning. Third and two. Here comes the pressure from the outside. And it's going to be picked off once again. There is more. It's another user lurk. That's where the player, CJ, clicks on and makes the play himself. And he's feeling it right now. I don't know what he's listening to, but he's feeling it. You know what? I could be listening to classical. If I'm playing the way <laughs> CJ plays, I'm going to be feeling it like he is because his defense is stepping up. Fournette. I didn't. Ask, usually, I ask the playlist, but like I said, he's he was so locked in 
Pre-game. Little Travis Scott, little Drake. I don't think he's listening to UGK. Yeah, he's, he's a little he's too He's not front, back, that. and side to side, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whatever he's listening to is working, though. He's up 14 to nothing, looking to make it more. Ball at the 29, 225 to go before the half. Cut. Scott Cole and Indy Kalu along with you here at the Texans Club Championship. And what a move by Leonard Fournette. That's going to be close to the marker, just shy. You know, you and I were talking about uh, his choice for Leonard Fournette, a power back, but we're seeing athleticism, speed, and quickness out of Fournette as well, not just the power that we're used to seeing tight, out of him. Seen him break some tackles. We've seen some carry some guys. And we've also seen him flat out outrun some folks. That wasn't a pancake block, but it did the job. Yeah, we're going to have a first and goal from the two. That was Tyree Kill that got thrown about seven yards. But the block did the did the duty, did what it needed to do. And like you said, it doesn't have to be a pancake block for it to be effective. That's just to show up on the highlights. An offensive lineman, if they just keep a body on a body, the running back's expected to do the rest. Well, this is a dangerous moment here for, for Bob. Needs a goal line stand here. As my buddy RG would say, he needs to hold the door. Outside of Leonard Fournette, gets the block. Can he get to the edge? He will. Touchdown, CJ. It's the Leonard Fournette show here in Houston. Starring the defense. Let's give credit to those yeah. guys with the interceptions, but you're absolutely right. And I'll tell you what, this is why CJ's playing and I'm talking about it. I actually thought he should take Leonard Fournette straight up the – I thought I saw space there, but he had faith in Leonard Fournette's speed and took the corner, and that's why they were able to hit pay dirt. 21 to nothing in our opening game here. Did not see this one. Coach Joe Rice and Ghani coming up next in our second semifinal. I'm not punching CJ's ticket yet. Still a long way to go. Bob needs to respond here, but Bort has more been everywhere. Interceptions, tackles for loss, just having a field day. His third tackle of the game. Flex round, flex round. Second and 13. Using these safeties at linebacker and, and, and bringing them up. And Randy Boss, that was a huge grab out to the 43. Does have two timeouts. Flex round, flex round. He'll hustle him back to the line. Press coverage on the outside on Randy. And he throws another INT. And this one might go to the crib. Ooh, baby! Touchdown, CJ. It is getting ugly. I'll tell you what, that's devastating. But like you said, you're not writing any tickets just yet. But I was thinking to myself, if Bob was able to get some kind of points on the board, whether it be three or seven, he could get back in it. But what a devastating blow. And look at the athleticism on the return. Able to get the spin right before the tackle and score. And now it's getting to a point where Bob's going to have to do something real special to get back in the I game. I know you keep in touch with McNabb. You don't have to tell him about any of that. No, <laughs> any no, of that no. we just saw. No, I'll tell him about <laughs> McNabb on the other <laughs> team and what he's able to do. <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing more scary than throwing an interception and tr having him be the one that makes the tackle. Peyton Manning wanted nothing to do with it. Most what quarterbacks do right. First and ten now. He has it again. Bob from Laredo, Texas, our only Texan in this final four here for the Houston Texans. And he's got a ton of work to do here. And more bad news for him is he's going to be the one kicking off at halftime. Yeah, and you see right now he's a little Flex frustrated round. with himself, but we've seen crazier things happen. Three down, three down. Hey, Rocking Flex that number round. two, Battle Red. Ohio, Ohio. Texans jersey. Which I like the all blue. The all blue is the is the one I like the most. When it's blue on blue. Yeah. See, I, all I, there all you go. blue, head to toe. Yeah, I'm with you on Flex that. Round. Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Don't don't much call it the color rush much anymore. Swing it to the outside for Thompson. Gets tackled in bounds. So no timeouts for Bob. Clock is on the move. Third and four. 
It's not officially a flood yet, but Bob's got the, the goulashes on, got the floaties ready. The water's arising. And Moss will pick up the first down. Clock still moving. Anything positive here, any, even three would give you something. McNabb, PA crossers looking for wide down the field. Nothing open, throws across his body, and Dorsett catches it and gets out of bounds at the 11. Smart play by Bob to get that catch, not try to get in the end zone, but get out of bounds, and now he has a decision to make whether he goes for the touchdown or gets the three points. It's got to be quick, and I think he's going to kick it because he's had absolutely zero luck throwing it in the middle of the field against those two safeties that he's brought up as linebackers that can not only hit, but our ball hawks. So here at the, the two seconds left before the half, 28 to three, and he'll squib it. And that's how the first half will come to an end, 28 to three, CJ. I'll tell you what, I, I was shocked at what we saw there. You, you know, you could not have convinced me that we were going to see as many turnovers, as many interceptions, and not just big plays, but then CJ also showed the ability to put together some impressive drives, running the ball and throwing it. Giveaways coming up here in this half. Want to get everybody ready for that. Go out to HoustonTexans.com backslash Madden. Silent Soldier was the winner here last year. Ohio! Ohio! Certainly CJ looking strong here. And for Joe Rice and Ghani looking Flex on, they're thinking, Flex oh, man, <laughs> I got to play this guy Flex in the final Flex if I get there. Flex Flex of course, that's a long way to go for both of those competitors. Their game is coming up Flex! next. Ball to 44, Leonard Fournette, nice shot, plant in the foot. And just continue steady as it goes. Once again, that URL, HoustonTexans.com backslash Madden. Now, Scott, I did my research. I know you're pretty uh, good at this game as well. So if you're in Bob's shoes, what, what's the mindset? What do you think of yourself well, right now? Well, good might be a stretch compared to these guys. Sure, my, my eight-year-old nephew is, is no match for me. He's laughing at what I just said right now. Uh, but, are you thinking air it out, or do you try to chip away at the lead? I mean, uh, 25 points is a yes. ton here. And with CJ having Leonard Fournette, I don't think you're going to have a lot of time when you get the ball back. And, and I think for CJ, he's doing the right thing here. Keep it on the ground. you got elite running back. Uh, probably not on conservative running, but I, I'm not expecting Leonard Fournette to fumble here the rest of the way. So you're in the <laughs> – it's not over. But uh, it's close. Third and one. He will air it out here. Crossing routes. Has a man. And Barber can't get there. Rondé Barber, they need to make that play. But Odell Beckham will haul it in. And again, this is the second time I've said this about Donovan McNabb. He does such a nice job leading the receiver with the ball. And I actually thought Rondé Barber was going to pick that off. But Odell Beckham able to utilize his speed and get to the ball before Barber. McNabb on first and 10 from the 16. He's going to the air again. Wow. Right up the seam to Franco Harris, but can't hold on. He's nearly picked off the tip. That's where McNabb tells Franco, hey, if you want me to throw you the ball <laughs> downfield, you have to catch it because that ball was right where it needed to be. But Franco Harris being a running back, he's used to those handoffs and pitches more than those 30-yard strikes. He had one good reception. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I remember that. <laughs> first and 10. Couldn't come up with the immaculate at that point. So that's third and eight from the 14. Field goal here, if he doesn't get it, would push it back to a four-score game. Which it currently is right now. So I don't know what the field goal does for you here. Randy Moss all alone. Forget about the field goal. Straight cash, homie. It was straight cash, exactly. You do not need to worry about three when you have a 6'6 receiver giving you six points the way Randy Moss does. Rand University via Florida State, Notre Dame, Marshall. Marshall, that, that's where he really uh, opened up some eyes. I'll never forget Randy Moss on that play. I believe it was against the Cowboys when he's running a go route, and he's telling the uh, the quarterback, you know, throw me the ball by just waving his hand while he's that running down the field. That was Thanksgiving, wasn't it? Wasn't that a Thanksgiving game? Yeah, I believe it was. I believe it was. 
Had a huge day that day. Just playing street ball while everybody else is trying to play organized football. What an amazing result. There's a reason they still call it getting mossed. 35 to 3. Still three minutes to go in the third. And McDabble slide down. Some they giveaways coming up here in a moment. They're going to give you a keyword that you got to enter at HoustonTexans.com backslash Madden. So listen for the keyword coming up in the fourth quarter. We talked about the phrase getting mossed. Uh, if the next game has three interceptions, will we say getting <laughs> CJ'd on that? Or is it too soon? to give him that much respect. Boy, he has been really tough on those pass, especially the short ones over the middle. That's done a great job with his user, giving up absolutely nothing. Four INTs given away by Bob. Of course, a lot of the community knows him as Bob Marley. No touchdown, no cry is the way it's been so far. 35 to three. Bob looking downfield. Got to bring somebody back. And it's going to be Randy. And a great job with the playmaker at the 32-yard line. And great job with the offensive line. I mean, typically if a quarterback has three seconds, that's enough time. It feels like he had an eternity Ohio, on that last play. Ohio! 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 Of course, Ohio, we're here in Houston, Ohio. Texas, here at NRG Stadium. Scott Cole along with Indy Kalou. Texans on the road against the Broncos. So we've taken over, and there's a huge sack. That'll make it second and 20 from the 42-yard line. Ohio! 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 McNabb finds Randy Moss all the way down at the 14-yard line, and he'll go with some tempo. First and 10 at the 14. McNabb in the gun. Handed off to Thompson. Gets a good block. And I'll tell you what, he had a, a very good block. The hole was huge, but a nice job pursuing and being aggressive getting to the ball carrier. Right now, the defense is thinking, you know what? We'll stop the runner on our way to the passer. There's a thing in all passes, and if it happens to be a run, they're okay with that because of the time that's left in this game. Second and four at the eight. Some tall receivers out there, especially with... Delaney Walker and Randy Moss on the left side here. Snugs it in up under center. And it's a jailbreak right up the middle. And CJ squad getting it done, not just with the interceptions again, with the defense, with the blitzes, just playing disciplined football. Tavarius Moore has been the story. He's got an interception. He's got a sack now to go along with his five Flex tackles. Round. Flex round. And now it's third Flex and ten. Round. Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Flex Play round. clock running down at five now. Flex round. Flex round. Cut. That Thompson open on the table route. All alone on the right side, Indy. I'll tell you what, the pressure that's coming from this team has been amazing. Not just from the down lineman, but from the cornerback blitz, the linebacker blitz. They've been all over McNabb, not giving him a chance to get comfortable to try to get back in this game. Goes as an incompletion, fourth and ten. I would call it fourth in the game, but I think that's what's been over for a while. Bunch to the right, Randy Moss off to the left. Final chance maybe here for Bob. McNabb. Picked off. Number five. Five interceptions, and this one might go all the way back. Chris Thompson makes the touchdown saving tackle. And that man right there has come to play today. I'll tell you what, I don't know what he's listening to, but the fat lady may be singing in his ear because after that interception, the game may be over. And CJ shocked me. Again, you never know what to expect, and you respect all four of these individuals that made it this far. But to see CJ play the dominant game that he's playing today has been a surprise. Well, for any of us who played a lot of Madden, you have games like this. And, he, you know, even in the professional world where you know you're just as good as those guys across from you, sometimes it 
the day just doesn't go your way. No, I'm glad you brought that up. I remember when I was with the Eagles, we were playing the Carolina Panthers for a chance to represent in the Super Bowl. And for whatever reason, we had a great week of practice. We prepared. We slept well the night before. We just could not get it started that game. And Carolina went out there and beat us. And I'm sure Bob's feeling the same way. He doesn't know what's going on, what he did differently. Uh, but, yes, he knows that he's not a, you know, that CJ's not 32 points better than he is. They mentioned if you go to HoustonTexans.com backslash Madden and enter the keyword Watson, as in Deshaun Watson, that's W-A-T-S-O-N right now, you can have a chance to win a copy of Madden 19 on your, copy, your console of choice. Once again, the keyword Watson at HoustonTexans.com backslash Madden. Tons more giveaways coming up through the broadcast. And hopefully for Bob, he won't be giving away any more balls as he tries to finish off this fourth quarter. Flex round! Flex round! It is going to be a long 426 Ohio! for Bob. Ohio! 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 McNabb. And he'll be sacked back at the 15-yard line. It's going to be a loss of 12, second and 22. I'll tell you what, you know, Bob's career is not over after this game. So for Bob, he's working on things that he could work on for the next tournament, for the next game that he's going to play. Obviously, if he doesn't pull off some miracle, that the tournament for him today will be over. But his career is obviously is not going to be over. Oh, these guys are youngsters, and we're just getting the season going here in the MCS for Madden 19. Of course, the Madden Classic will be in Vegas just about a month from now. Of course, this is the club championship for Madden. Ohio, We're here Ohio. at the NRG Stadium here in Houston, Flex Texas. Flex Hanging out with the Texans. A nice job underneath the Randy Moss. It's going to be a gain of four. And credit CJ for doing what Coach Hatfield used to tell us to do when I was at Rice, <laughs> keeping his finger up. You know, the yeah, guy's yeah. staying aggressive. Uh, he's not sitting back putting his feet up on the desk because he's up by 32 points. Uh, you, you know, it's a sense of pride to try to keep somebody out of the end zone for an entire game. And you can see that means a lot to CJ as well. Oh, Kenny Hatfield, a former Arkansas coach, Clemson coach, and then... Made his way to Rice and had to put up with you for a couple of years. <laughs> yes, and then he retired after that. <laughs> He's like, I've had enough. <laughs> yes, I've had enough of I've this I've had school. enough. You can only have one ND in your life. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's a great man. And if I see him right now, I'm giving him a big bear hug. Just a, a great man, great coach. But the things that he taught us uh, will last a lifetime. First and ten. Kittle. First down at the 47. Most of us have played any any level of sports as a, a coach or two you love and maybe a That's coach true. or two you hate. Yes, <laughs> yes. And you know what? You learn from all of That's them. That's true. What to do, what not to do. One way or the other. Maybe hate's a strong <laughs> word. As McNabb tries to get, I don't know if that was Hudson that was in the way, big old number 61. But that all that for a gain of three. I believe that is Hudson. Center for the Flex Raiders. Round. Flex round. Hut. Speaking of Rice, I think Rice could probably beat the Oakland Raiders right now. I don't know. Uh, right <laughs> now we have our own struggles. <laughs> we just need to make sure we can handle UTEP. Got Justin Chow in the building for Madden fame. Big Raider fan. Whether he wants to admit it or not this season. Gruden's got a plan. Everybody's got a plan. Hut. Oh, boy. Talk about big hits. How about Khalil Mack? He had a plan on that. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of plans, you know, it's just a matter of whether or not you can execute it. Sure. Because CJ and Bob had a plan going into this game. And fortunately for CJ, unfortunately for Bob, CJ was about to, he was able to execute his to perfection. Well, I think you've seen a plan come to fruition here in Houston with yes. the amount of defensive stars that they've really built their team around. But you got an offensive mind in Bill Bryan, young quarterback. You got New Hopkins on the outside. Uh, this is a team that's just continuing to build and build. 
and a young team at that. Hey, I'm glad you brought that up because this is a team when you look over the next three to four years, you can expect them to continue to get better. You know, they have young stars. Davion Clowney, if they're able to keep him. Deshaun Watson, one of the most exciting quarterbacks who's not Pat Mahomes in the NFL. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins. So you're absolutely right. I mean, the team is just trending up. Once they secure that offensive line, it, it could be some special seasons here in Houston. Seems like it took the rest of the league to catch on a little bit about how great Newt Hopkins is. We heard so much, and rightfully so. I mean, OBJ made a great grab. Right. But that in that year, Newt Hopkins probably made a better catch. Of course, it got called back for holding. But, right. but he uh, showed the ability to make that. Sure. Play. So a lot of excitement down here in Houston. This is just game number one of the day, and it looks like CJ is going to come in here and absolutely dominate Bob in defensive fashion. He actually did it on both sides of the ball. It did on both sides, and, you know, obviously the five interceptions will be the big storyline in this game. But one thing that – here's the thing. You can't expect to have that every game, but one thing you can expect – is to play on offense the way he played, picking up yards with the run, picking up yards with the pass. If he could be consistent with that, who knows? He might be hoisting up that big old check at the end of this day. Well, he lays down there in classy fashion because I think Leonard Fournette would have got on his horse there and we would have been off to the races. It's just a little respect. I mean, you saw the sportsmanship before the game when they uh, shook each other's hands and they have a healthy respect for one another. Boy, there's a, a ton of respect in the Madden community for Bob. And he shows love to CJ, who is coming here today. Been absolutely fantastic. Locked in from the get-go. I don't know what he was listening to, but uh, I need to download a playlist. <laughs> we might all have like to. that. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to be that successful <laughs> listening to what he's listening you know what? Let's give him credit. It's the preparation. It's not what he was listening to. It's the way he was prepared uh, before this first game. And Bob should keep his head up because thousands, not hundreds, not tens, but thousands of people signed up to be here today and only four of them made it so you're talking about world-class 